Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out a new fast drying acrylic paint. I'm gonna be making over this little nightstand, taking it from rustic industrial to more sleek and modern. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. My furniture flip today is gonna to be this little nightstand. Since I'm working with a new paint, I like to start with a small piece when I've never worked with a paint before. This is all chipped and dinged and needs some repairs. This piece was originally from Pier 1, which is no longer, rest in peace, Pier 1. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at Zebra. I'm gonna be using their paint brushes in my project today, and I have a discount code to share with you later, so make sure you stick around. To prep my piece, I started by removing all these little hardware knobs that were running down the center of the piece. It's really industrial and rustic looking, and I want it more sleek and modern and classic, so I'm gonna remove all of those and fill those holes. And I'm also gonna remove the existing hardware because I have something really cool in mind for this. Next up, I'm gonna clean my piece and I'm gonna use some simple green decreaser to clean this up today. I just let this set for a couple of minutes and then I come back in and scrub it with a sponge and then I always rinse it off with some clean water. Cleaner residue can affect the way your paint adheres, so never skip the step of rinsing your piece. Next, I'm gonna grab some quick wood epoxy and use this to fill my holes. This is a two piece putty that you mix together. It's gonna activate it. You can work with it for about 15 to 20 minutes and then it dries really hard and is sandable in about an hour. It also works really great for repairing damages, so this big hole I had out of the side of the piece I filled with the epoxy too. Like I said, that stuff is very good for deep holes, but I like using Bondo to repair nicks and chips, and this piece had a lot of warm holes that I didn't wanna see because again, I'm going for a more classic clean look. So I decided to fill the majority of those worm holes and the nicks and dings, and I got a little crazy. Just wait and see what I mean. So I went a little crazy, but once I filled one hole, I figured I should fill them all. Bondo uh, wood filler also dries it really quickly, so I was able to sand this within an hour. I'm using my surf prep sander to really crank through this. I'm using a 120 sandpaper to smooth this all down. Then I used a damp rag to wipe away all that dust I kicked up with the sander and I'm gonna prop the whole piece up on some painter's pyramids so that it won't stick to my canvas. Having a piece raised like this really helps in the painting process. So I know this is looking really rough and I exposed a lot of the wood by doing the sanding and the repair. So I am going to prime this piece today. This primer is specifically meant to be used with Wise Owl's One Hour Enamel, which I'm gonna use today. I'm not gonna have to top coat it, so I don't mind that I'm going to have to prime and I'm using a really dark color, a dark green. So they recommend using this dark gray primer when you're using a dark color. So this primer is going to help with the adhesion of my one hour enamel that I'm going to do and it's going to block any bleed through from that exposed wood that I have. Sometimes when you have exposed wood like that, uh, tannins in the wood can come up through your paint and so this primer is going to block that from happening. I'm applying this with one of my favorite zebra brushes. This is the Palm Pro Trim and Surface and it's really great for cutting in and painting large flat surfaces too. This primer needs four hours to dry and they recommend doing two coats to help it have its best adhesion and stain blocking properties. So waiting that long, you definitely wanna wash your brush in between coats. And the great thing about zebra brushes is that they clean up really nicely with just a warm water and soap. I did a late night second coat painting session after dinner and the kids went to bed because I wanted this to have the full time to dry overnight to really bring out those stain blocking properties. 
so here it is after it's completely dry this is two coats really great coverage looked good I'm gonna sand it down a little bit before I add my paint so I'm gonna grab my surf prep rad pad in very fine the red one these are my favorites for sanding in between coats and I'm just gonna give it a light sanding just to make sure that everything's smooth and get rid of any imperfections Okay, I'm finally ready to paint and I'm gonna be featuring the Zebra Best Of Kit today. You guys, I love using Zebra kits because not only do you get some great brushes at an affordable price, you get this cute little tote that goes with it as well to store your brushes when you're done. This kit features some of my all-time favorites like the square brush and the round brush and Zebra is gonna give you a 10% off your order using the code Christina10 through April 17th. So don't miss out on that great deal. The paint I'm gonna be working with today is Wise Owl One Hour Enamel in the color Charleston Green. You do not wanna shake this. This is an acrylic based paint and it will get bubbles. So you just wanna give it a good stir to get it all mixed up. And I'm gonna be starting to apply it with my two inch stubby from Zebra. This brush is great it's great for cutting in and it's great for flat surfaces as well. I was introduced to Wise Owl by my friend April at Rawhide Furnishings. She's actually a Wise Owl dealer retailer here in Franklin, Tennessee where I live and she's also part of a group that I'm on on Instagram that's all Middle Tennessee furniture painters and when I reached out to her saying hey I'm finally trying this paint that you rave about do you have any tips for me? Her tips were to keep a wet edge because it dries really fast, don't overwork it, lay it down and and then move on to the next section thin even coats and it will self level beautifully watch for drips and runs on vertical areas since the paint is thinner than most paints that we typically use like those chalk style paints the number one thing to watch out is those drip marks because this paint is thinner on those vertical surfaces. You need to fix those right away. They're going to just be easier to smooth out right when you catch them than having to sand them down later. All these things are very typical of a all-in-one paint with a built-in top coat. If you have any more questions about Wise Out, reach out to April. I'll leave her information down below. The next brush I'm grabbing out of my kit is the square brush. This is one of my favorites for getting on small areas and in details. And on this piece, it worked really perfectly painting these slats. Not only did it paint the slats really well, but it got in the in between cracks i don't know what to call those the cracks in between the slats i didn't have to push or stipple my paint in there the way this brush is designed it just dragged paint in there very evenly and precisely as i went along this brush is also great for getting those smaller trim pieces as well with my love of this square brush and the versatility of the two inch stubby, these are the only two brushes I had to use on this piece, but this kit comes with other great brushes. So I want to share them real quickly. This chisel brush is one of my favorites for putting on top coat. It has 25% more bristles, just like all their other brushes. And it really puts on top coat smoothly. It's one of my go-to top coat brushes and the round brush. You guys, I love this thing. I use it all the time. It's really great for details on pieces like this. It'll just push the paint in there with ease. This piece that I'm working on doesn't have a lot of detail, so the square brush and stubby did it for me. This paint dries really fast, just like other furniture paints that I work. It's ready to recoat and sand after two hours. So again, I'm using my red rad pad just to smooth things out in between coats. So while I'm doing my second coat, I want to tell you about some of the features of this paint. It has that built in top coat, so I am not going to have to top coat after I get the second coat on. This one hour enamel is a tough, fast drying acrylic enamel. So this is not a chalk paint. This is not a chalk style paint. You can use it on interior or exterior surfaces. This paint is meant for things that need to return to service quickly, like cabinets, doors, tile trim, countertops, concrete, furniture. Um, so I will be really interested to see how this holds up. I might keep this piece or give it back to my neighbor who I originally got it from and see how it holds up rather than selling it. I like to do that when I'm working with a paint for the first time. And I really hardly used any at all, as you can see here. So I let this set overnight and then I brought it in to put my finishing touches on it. I wasn't really super careful when I was painting around these hinges. I didn't paint them, but I wasn't super careful because I knew I was going to use some gilding wax to make these look more brass and gold. So I'm grabbing my Dixie Bell gilding wax and just taping off the uh, door to protect it. And then I'm just gonna add these to the hinges because this is gonna match my hardware I'm putting on.
Okay, I'm really excited about today's hardware because I've been wanting to use this forever. The, this is one of those bars that can go in a bunch of different hole sizes. So this particular hole size on this piece is two inches, which is so hard to find um, if you're trying to just replace it and instead of having to fill holes or redrill, all that mess, you can just adjust these screws to any size that you want to make them. And they come with these little nuts and bolts and it has a little wing guy that helps you tighten the nuts as well. But what you do have to be careful about is I originally just put it in and it was completely unlevel. So I had to grab a level and kind of play with it and get it in the right spot and then tighten the screws when I had it completely level. There are a bunch of different companies that are making these now. This one I picked up from Lowe's and it's Brainerd and they do have this brushed brass in store, which is really nice. And they have a couple of different sizes. So I got a smaller one for the door. So this was a pretty quick one today. Just to remind you, here is what I started off with and here is the nightstand now. I am obsessed with this color and I love the new hardware. It just gives it a completely different look. I had a lot of fun trying out a new paint and my zebra brushes did not disappoint. Let me know which brush you guys would like to try out in the comments. Thanks for joining me for today's video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and projects before you leave. I will be back next week with another furniture flip. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.